Hello YouTube, this is Headley South. This video is absolutely nothing to do with railways, but I came across a problem uh, last night having upgraded one of our computers to Windows 10, and it was rather an annoying problem, uh, where basically when you shut the computer down, five minutes later it would power itself back up again. And it didn't matter how many times you shut the computer down, it would constantly keep rebooting itself. So, I did a load of research and was trying various things to prevent it from doing this. None of it would stop this problem. Anyway, I came across an article which described how to rectify this problem. So I've done a short video aimed at people who have, just like me, got Windows 10 and then finally have a problem um, where their computer keeps on starting itself up five minutes after they shut it down. So, basically what I did, if you go in your Windows 10 to the bottom left hand corner next to the start button, you've got like a little search box. If you type in there power, um, as I've done as you can see on this picture, and you'll get a list come up similar to this. What you need to do is select power and sleep settings and if you click on that you'll then get this page come up and on the left hand side as you can see uh, highlighted there it says power and sleep and then sort of in the middle of the screen you've got screen, sleep, those kind of settings and just below related settings it says additional power settings. If you click on that one now you should get a page like this come up and on the very left hand side you've under control panel home you've got require a password on wake up the next option choose what the power buttons do if you click on that, now you'll get a page like this come up. If you go down to the bottom section where it says shut down settings, you can see on mine the tick boxes are greyed out where you can't actually alter them. But there's four tick boxes. You've got lock, showing account picture menu, hibernate, showing power menu, sleep, showing power menu and then the top item which is turn on fast startup recommended this helps start your PC faster after shutdown restart isn't affected this is where our problem is and I'll explain why in a minute but I'll show you how to cure the problem first what you would then do if you go up towards the top of the screen you'll see a blue and yellow shield just be, um, below define power buttons and turn on password protection and written next to that shield is change settings that are currently unavailable so if you click on that and then if you click on the turn on fast startup recommended so the tick box disappears like you can see in my picture and then at the bottom of the page click on save changes If you then go um, out of this page and come back in, it should now look like this picture where the tick boxes are greyed out, but there isn't a tick in the turn on fast st startup recommended box, and that will fix the problem. So, what causes this problem? So, basically, what it appears the problem is built into Windows 8 which is what my uh, Windows 10 upgraded from um, there is a feature called hybrid shutdown and this feature was um, introduced in Windows 8 and it's supposed to decrease the total startup time by hibernating the kernel session instead of closing it and this is supposed to reduce the overall time that Windows takes to load um, because it only has to resume the hibernated system session um, rather than the full initialization. 
but this feature is basically causing problems to some computer systems and basically what happens is it's causing the system to restart because the session isn't closed so by doing the steps that I said um, just a moment ago it will allow the hybrid shutdown feature to be deactivated which means that the kernel session will shut down properly which means that your computer won't keep restarting um, five minutes after you've completely shut it down so I hope this is helpful for you and uh, hopefully I'll be doing another video very soon thanks for watching thank you to all my new subscribers and my current ones please feel free to comment subscribe or like and I'll see you again soon bye for now bye